Hello students, welcome to Anne's classes. Let's do exercise 13b. Page number 165, question 7. So here we have 4 into 2a plus b the whole square minus a minus b the whole square. Now if we have to get this in the form of a square minus b square, we can apply the formula, isn't it? Now how do we get this part into a square? a square minus b square. So this is already square, but here only this part is square. 4 is not a square. So we have to write the square root of 4. So the square root of 4 is 2, isn't it? So now we can say 2 into 2a plus b. Now the whole square, this whole thing including 2, this whole thing square. So we have to put more brackets here by the side. So now we have the square brackets. Now we can put a square. So according to this now, 2 is also square and that will give us 4. And 2a plus b is also square. The square is here. Now we'll write this. So this is a minus b, the whole square. So now what we can do is we can consider this whole thing to be a square minus this b square. So that means if I have to have a square minus b square, then the answer to that, the formula is a plus b into a minus b. So in this case, a is how much this whole thing, this whole thing is a. That is 2 into 2a plus b. This is a. And what is b? b is a minus b. So now we are going to write this a plus b into a minus b. So remember a is this and b is this. So let's write a plus b into a minus b, which is equal to, now a plus b a is 2 into 2a plus b. This is a plus b and b is a minus b. Okay, so now this bracket will make it a square bracket. So now we have put this whole thing in brackets and what is this? This is a plus b. Now here we have to write the same thing into a minus b. Okay, so we wrote a plus b. Now we're going to write a minus b. The same thing with the minus sign. So we're going to write 2 into 2a plus b. This is a minus b, which is a minus b. And now let's put the square brackets. So what do we have now? a plus b into a minus b. Now let's open the brackets. So here this will be. So now when we open brackets, we have to remember to multiply with this first and then this because it's multiplication. So let's open brackets. 2 into 2a is 4a plus 2 into b is 2b. Now let's open the other brackets plus a minus b. So this is within brackets. Let's go to the other part into now again here also 2 into 2a and then 2 into b. So 2 into 2a is 4a, 2 into b is 2b plus 2b, then minus a plus b because minus into minus is plus. So that's how we got plus b. Now here like terms. So here we have 4a plus a that makes it 5a and then here we have 2b minus b which is 1b or just b plus b. So we have 5a plus b and here what do we have? Here we have 4a minus a. That makes it 4 minus 1 is 3, 3a. And then we have 2b plus b, which is 3b. So plus 3b. Now here again, as you can see, 3 is common. So we can take the 3 out. So let's put the 3 out because it's common. And this is 5a plus b as it is. And here, since we have taken the 3 out, what is left is only a plus b. So here we have A plus B. So this is our answer. Question 8. Now here we have 25 into 2x plus y the whole square minus 16 into x minus y the whole square. So just like the previous one, we can turn this whole thing into square and this also square. So we can have it in the form of A square minus B square. So how do we turn this whole thing into square? Look at this number. This is 25. Let's get the square root of 25. The square root of 25 is 5 because 5 into 5 is 25. So we can rewrite this as 5 into 2x plus y. Now this whole thing can be squared. Now we can write the square of this. So here in this case, this whole thing is 
raised to the power of 2. Similarly, here also. So let's put the minus sign and let's look at 16. What is the square root of 16? 4. Because 4 4s are 16. So we can write 4 and put the rest in brackets. x minus y and put this whole thing within brackets. So 4 into x minus y, the whole square. So now this is in the format of a square minus b square. So what is the formula in that case? a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. So what is a here? a is the whole of this first factor here, this whole thing. That is 5 into 2x plus y. This is a. So what is b? b is 4 into x minus y. So now if we have to write a plus b into a minus b, keep in mind that this is a and this is b. So we're going to write a plus b. So what is a? a is 5 into 2x plus y. This is a plus b. What is b? b is 4 into x minus y. So this is b. So what have we written here? a plus b. So let's put this within brackets. So now we have a plus b. Now we have to write a minus b. So same thing. a and b will be the same. Only the sign will change. So we have to write a that is 5 into 2x plus y minus. This time it is minus 4 into x minus y. This whole thing within brackets. So now we have a plus b into a minus b. Let's open the brackets here. So when you open, remember this multiplication. So multiply, multiply these two. So let's do 5 into 2x is 5, 2s are 10, 10x. 5 into y is 5y. Similarly, here also it is multiplication. So 4 into x and 4 into minus y. So 4 into x first and then 4 into minus y. 4 into x is 4x. 4 into minus y is minus 4y. So this is within brackets. Now let's go to the next part. So here also 5 into 2x and 5 into y. So 5 into 2x is 10x plus 5 into y is 5y. Then here we have 4 into x and 4 into minus y. So minus 4 into x is minus 4x minus 4 into minus y is plus 4y. Now let's look for the like terms here and see what we can do. We have 10x and 4x. So let's see that. So 10x and 4x. So that will be 10 plus 4 is 14. 14x and then here we have 5y minus 4y which is only y. So plus y. So here we have 14x plus y and here what do we have? Here we have again 10x minus 4x that makes it 6x. So that is 6x. Then we have plus 5y plus 4y which is plus 9y. Now here again this will remain the same but look at this 6x plus 9y. Again there is a number that's common. The number 3 is common. 3 into 2 is 6. 3 into 3 is 9. So we can take out that number 3. So we can write it here right at the beginning. The first factor we can write it as it is 14x plus y. And here in this place of 6x, we already have 3 here. So 3 into 2 will give us 6. So that becomes 2x plus we already have 3. So 3 into 3 will give us 9. So that will be 3y. So this is our final answer. Question 9. So here we have a mixed number raised to the power of 2, another mixed number raised to the power of 2 and minus. So this is the form of again a square minus b square. So if it is a square minus b square, the answer will be a plus b into a minus b. So here what is a? a is 6, 2 by 3, converted. 6, 3 is 18 plus 2 is 20, 20 by 3. And what is B? B is 2, 1 by 3 converted. 3, 2 is 6 plus 1, 7 by 3. So now we have to write A plus B. This is A and this is B. So A plus B into A minus B. So let's write that. So this becomes A that is 20 by 3. A plus B which is 7 by 3. So 
So this is within brackets. So we got a plus b now into a minus b. So 20 by 3 minus 7 by 3. So now we have to simplify this. Now since these are like terms because the denominator is the same, we don't have to find the LCM. We just have to add the numerators. So this becomes 27 by 3 into, now here also when you see 20 minus 7 is 13, 13 by 3. So now this has become just multiplication of fractions. We can cancel. I can cancel 3 and 27. 3 ones are 3, 3 nines are 27. Now I can cancel this 3 and this 9. So 3 threes are 9. So 3 ones are 3, 3 threes are 9. That's all to cancel. So we multiply. So this becomes 13 into 3 which is 39 and in the denominator 1. 39 by 1 is 39. So this is our answer. Question 10. So here we have decimal numbers. Okay. And here this is A and this is B. So again it becomes A square minus B square which is A plus B into A minus B. And what is A in this case? A is 0 0.7 and B is 0 0.3. So when we have to write a plus b, it is 0 0.7 plus 0 0.3. Similarly here. So let's substitute and write. So a plus b means 0 0.7 plus 0 0.3. This is a plus b into a minus b is 0 0.7 minus 0 0.3. Now we have to add this up. So let's add up 0 0.7 plus 0 0.3. 7 plus 3 is 10 carry 1. So it is 1. 0 or simply 1 into now let's subtract now 0 0.7 minus 0 0.3 so 7 minus 3 is 4 this is 0 0.4 so 1 into 0 0.4 how much is 1 into any number it gives back the same number so 0 0.4 so this is our answer 0 0.4 Question 11. 75 into x plus y the whole square minus 48 into x minus y the whole square. So I can make this a square and b square if I can find the square root. But 75 is not a perfect square. So what do we do? So this is what I'm going to do. Let's find the prime factors of 75. Okay. 5 into 15 is 75. Continue. 5 threes are 15. 3 ones are 3. Now similarly, let's find the prime factors of 48. So 2 into 24 is 48, 2 into 12 is 24, 2 sixes are 12, 2 threes are 6 and 3 ones are 3. Now let's write the prime factors of 75 that is 5 into 5 into 3. Let's write the prime factors of 48. This is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Now what is common to both? 3 is common to both, isn't it? So I can put that 3 outside. So if I put 3 out, now I have to have the other numbers within brackets. Now look at this 75. If I remove 3, what is left? 5 into 5 is 25, which I can write here. So that becomes 25 into x plus y, the whole square. So let's change this bracket to a square bracket. Now I continue by writing minus. Now here 48 in that again, 3 is common, so I've taken 3 out here. So if I leave out 3, what do I have? 2, 2 is 4, 4, 2 is 8, 8, 2 is 16. So I can write 16 x minus y, the whole square. Now I can close this bracket. Okay, so let me continue again. So this is 3. Now look at this 25. Now I can make this whole thing square. So how do I do this? I must get the square root of 25. Now this is easy. Square root of 25 is 5 because 5 fives are 25. So let's write that 5 into x plus y the whole square. So this becomes the whole square minus similarly 16. I can write the square root and that is 4. 4 fours are 16. So 4 into x minus y the whole square. So now this is in the form of a square minus b square. So let's write that. So a square minus b square and what is the formula? This will be a plus b into 
a minus b. So a plus b into a minus b. So what is a here? 5 into x plus y. The first term is a and b will be the second term 4 into x minus y. So this will be equal to a plus b into a minus b. So 3 will be there. Now a plus b. What is a? 5 into x plus y. a plus b. And what is b? 4 into x minus y. So I've got a plus b. Now I must write the same thing as a minus b. That is 5 into x plus y minus 4 into x minus y. So now this has become a plus b into a minus b. Now we have to simplify this. So 3 remains here and inside the brackets I have to multiply 5 into x and then 5 into y. So 5 into x is 5x plus 5 into y is 5y plus similarly here also 4 into x and 4 into minus y. So that becomes plus 4x minus 4y. So this is within brackets. Now let's go to the next one. Now here also 5 into x and 5 into y. So that becomes 5 into x is 5x plus 5 into y is 5y. Now the next one is minus 4 into x and minus 4 into minus y. So minus 4 into x is minus 4x plus 4y. Now let's simplify the like terms. So here we have 5x and 4x. So that is 5x and 4x is addition 9x. Then we have 5y minus 4y. 5 minus 4 is 1. So that is 1y or simply y. Then here on this other side, again let's take the x. 5x minus 4x. 5 minus 4 is 1. So it's only 1x. Now let's take the y's. 5y plus 4y. And that is 5 plus 4 is 9. So plus 9y. So this is our final answer. Question 12. Here we have a square plus 4a plus 4 minus b square. Now look very carefully children. Here it's going to be difficult to find a common term or to put it in the form of a square minus b square. We have to think of an identity that we can use. Okay, so we can't take this a square and b square. Then what will we do with this? Okay, so let's do this very carefully. Now let's have a look at only this part. So this is a square plus 4a plus 4. So that can be in the form of a plus b the whole square if we take this identity. So how do we write this? It will be a square plus b square plus 2ab, isn't it? Now if I am going to take this, that is a square plus 4a plus 4, I can try and put it in this form. So here a square, I can write it as a square here itself, a square plus b square. I can take this 4. 4 to be b square. So if it is b square, if b square is 4, so what is b? It will be the square root of 4 which is 2. Okay, so it will be 2 square. So and then we have 2 into a into b. Is it a 2 into and what is a? a will be a itself and b will be this because we said b square is 2 square. So 2 into a. a will be a itself and b will be 2. Okay, I hope you understood this children. Now a square plus b square plus 2ab. a square is a square itself. I already have it here. Now b square, I can take the 4 as b square and now if the 4 is b square, what is b? b will be only 2, isn't it? Because it's a square root of 4. So I've got 2. So a is a and b is 2. That's why we got 2 into a into 2. 2ab. Now, if you write this, what does this become? a square plus 4 plus 2, 2 is a 4, 4a. We get this, isn't it? We get the same thing as this. So, this can be changed into a plus b the whole square. So, if we have to write that here, a is a itself and b is what? b is 2. So, a plus 2 the whole square. So, that we can write here. So, this becomes a plus 2 the whole square minus b square. So now it is in the form of a square plus minus b square. So we have applied one identity already and we got this. Now we are going to apply one more identity. 
So this is a square minus b square. And what is that? a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. And in this case, what is a? a is a plus 2. That is, this whole thing is a. This whole thing is a and this is b. So, and b is b itself. Now, we are going to write a plus b. That means this plus this into a minus b, this minus this. So, let's write that now. So, a plus b means a plus 2 plus b. And what is b? b is b itself. a plus 2 plus b into a minus b. And this is a minus b. Now, here there is nothing more that we can simplify because they are all unlike terms. So, this will be our final answer. So, this is our answer. Question 13. Question 13, a square minus b square minus 2b minus 1. Now, here also we have something similar to the previous question. But here we have a square minus b square together. We can't get this as, we can't get anything out of this, isn't it? We can't make it a square. So, we are going to keep this as it is. You have to think carefully and do it. A square, we have to leave it as it is. Then, I am going to leave minus here and I am going to take this whole thing. So, this whole thing will be, now I am going to write b square inside. Okay. Now, here it is minus b, isn't it? Minus b, so I already have minus, so I, I don't have to put any sign inside. Now, I am going to put 2b here. Now, 2b needs to have a minus sign. But since I have a minus sign already outside, this will become plus. So, that becomes plus 2b because minus into plus is minus. So, it will become minus 2b. Similarly, this minus sign also will change to plus because I already have that minus sign outside. So, this becomes plus 1. So, here outside here, I can leave this as it is minus. Now, this can be in the form of a plus b the whole square. So, if I have a plus b the whole square, what will I get? a square plus b square plus 2ab. So, here I can write the same thing here. Okay. So, here I can write this in the form in the place of a square. So, this is in the place of a square. So, I can write b square. This is a square in the place of a square. Then, we finish with this. That is, we finish writing a square. Now, b square. Which is b square here? I can write 1 as b square. So, I can write it here. Plus 1 square. And this here will be 2ab. So, that means a is b and b is 1. So, that is plus 2 into a. a is b into b is 1. So, this is 2ab. 2ab from the formula 2ab. Okay, so I have this again in the form of a square plus b square plus 2ab. Now let's simplify this. So here what do we have? a square minus, so this, when you simplify this, you are going to get this b square plus 2b plus 1. So this is actually a plus b the whole square. And what is a? a is b. And what is b? b is 1. So, instead of writing a plus b the whole square, instead of a, I write b plus 1 the whole square. So, this will be b plus 1 the whole square. So, now we have applied one identity and we've got this. Now, we are going to apply the second identity where this is a square minus b square. So, what is the formula for that now? The second identity, a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b. And what is a here? a is a itself. Okay, so we can write that. And what is b? b is the second factor that is b plus 1. That is b. b plus 1. So now I'm going to write a plus b that is this plus this into a minus b that is this minus this. So this will be a plus b. So a plus b is b plus 1. This is b into a minus b. a minus, what is b? b plus 1. b plus 1. Now, because minus is there, I've put this within brackets. That's why we have another bracket. Now, let's simplify. Now, here there's nothing we can do. So, we write it as it is. That is 
a plus b plus 1 into now here we're going to change a and because we have minus here minus into plus is minus minus into plus minus b then minus into plus is minus minus 1 so this will be our final answer question 14 so here also we have a similar question there just like the previous question so let's take this part first let's take this part first so this was again x square plus 6x plus 9 okay x square plus 6x plus 9 this is in the form of a plus b the whole square okay that is if i say a plus b the whole square what do i get i get a square plus b square plus 2ab 2ab isn't it now here so a is x so we can write it here so a is x plus now let's do so this is x square so a square means x square now b square b square is 9 so what is the square root of 9 square root of 9 is 3 so we can write 3 square that means a is x and b is 3 so here what will be right so here we can write 2ab that means 2 into a is x into b and b is 3 b is 3 okay so when you work this out when you work this out you will get back this whole thing so here a is x and b is 3 so a plus b the whole square i will write it as x because a is x and b is 3 x plus 3 the whole square so instead of writing this we can write x plus 3 the whole square so let's write that so this is x plus 3 the whole square minus now here also 4 is given isn't it y is square already now 4 we have to write the square root of 4 which is 2 so that becomes 2y square so now we have another identity here this will be a square minus b square and that will be a square minus b square will be a plus b into a minus b and what is a a is the first one here that is x plus 3 that is x plus 3 and what is b b is 2y so b is 2y so now what do we have to write we have to say x plus b a plus b into a minus b that is this plus this into this minus this so let's write this so a plus b will be a is x plus 3 plus b and b is 2y my into x a minus b and what is a x plus 3 minus b is minus 2y now this cannot be simplified further isn't it so this will be our final answer x plus 3 plus 2y into x plus 3 minus 2y so with this we come to the end of this exercise thank you children